what can you grow in small spaces and what type of plant you can grow with each other and still able to be successful. All right, this is a small area, very small area. I'm growing different type of food. I'm growing squash, this is squash. I'm growing, this is one vine of squash. Growing all the way goes all back around, come back over there. We all, this is one yam. So in this area here, we have three different yam growing in this area. This is a tomatillo growing here. So we have three different yam. This is one yam growing up between this scallion right here. If you notice, you can see that's a yam coming up between the scallion. We have about four different type of squash growing in this area here. I'm gonna show you in a minute. We also have bell pepper growing in this area here. Small, small area. All right. As you see, we have tomorrow growing over here as well. We have a ginger growing as here. And all, we have another tomatillo growing. And over here is just different type of squash and yam. So all the yam vines and the squash vines connect to each other and just running again, running with each other. Okay, all up here. We also have peanuts growing in this area. We also have rosemary. The good thing about it is guys, you have to come in the garden and you gotta to try to control the vines then. You gotta to try to control vines that everything can get the chance to get some sunlight. If you notice, we have all these vines right here and this is a bell pepper right here. But if you notice, no vines is on the bell pepper. Why? Because every time they try to connect it, I will run it back over there. So all of them is just running with each other. And it's working. I'm gonna show you why I say it's working. Cause you see this is one type of squash right here. This is one type. I'm gonna show you another one right here. Another one coming up there. All this is yam, vines running, coming up from down there. So we have yam. This one here is another type of squash. It's pushing flowers, but right now I ain't see anything whole on it. So as you see, we have this one. You know, look what's going on, guys. They just run all different type of squash, like about four different type of squash running up there with each other. Then we have this one. This is a really nice design squash. I don't know the name of this one, but it's well designed. It's beautiful. Let me see if I can hold it up for you guys. And it's solid. It's getting big and it's solid. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is you can grow different plants to grow. Other. You just got to make sure that you able to be in control try to lead them don't let them run and sort and plant because if they run and sort and plant they will take over the plant this is a squash like this one here this is a tomatillo plant but the squash is taking it over i'm not worrying about that because at least it has place to run Okay, and I have other tomatillo plants, so I'm not really worrying about that. But you have to be able to control them. And you could allow them to run against each other. Once they're able to get pollinated, once the bees are able to get in, is no problem. Once the sunlight, sunlight is important as well. Look at these, even though no rain. Look at the healthiness of these plants and we ain't get no rain and they actually grow in natural and they actually grow in clay soil. Look, look at the soil. The soil is dry 
like crips look at the soil but at the end of the day look how healthy the plants them look here in the rain we're for four weeks now no rain but look at the beauty the healthiness of the plant and because they all get in their fair share of sunlight they all grow in. so we have like five different squash growing up in here we have three different yams growing up in here this is one this is one yam growing up here there's a next one growing up from right here and this is the next one so that's three yam we have scallion we have bell pepper we have tomatillo we have peanut we have rosemary we have parsley right in this little area it's about six feet by four feet it's about six feet by four feet if you notice what i'm doing here look what i'm doing here this is a squash and this squash come from all the way look, all the way go back over there to the big squash and i'll show you this is the same squash but if you notice what i do I bring it and I control it from over there, bring it around and bring it here. It was coming out here and what I do, I turn it back. You see, this was the end. This is the end, what I do, I turn it back. You see what I'm saying? So you can grow many things together. You can go squash, you can grow anything in a small space. You just got to know how to utilize the space. You just got to know how to control the vines. Them. Yes, different type of squash can grow with each other. They're going to run on each other. They're going to push the flowers. They're going to, if they get pollinated, you're in good shape. But the sunlight is important and that's what they get it they get in the great sunlight so just want to say guys thank you all again for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share